I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home Hey everyone, so we are up nice and early today. We're going to go and drop the girls off to my sister-in-law's house. And then we're going to go and take Rayhan to an appointment. Yeah, he's got two appointments. He's got a hearing appointment. Basically, when they did the hearing test at the hospital, when I was in hospital, um, he had a lot of fluids in his ear, so they couldn't do the check properly, um, which they said is normal with C-section babies. They always have a lot of fluid in their ears. So you've got to wait like a week or so for all the fluid to come out and then they can do the checks properly. So um, I had an appointment last week but I cancelled it. So it's this Saturday, today. So we're going that to, going to that today. So hopefully all will be well. The fluid will be out and they can do the checks properly. And inshallah his hearing will be fine. That's why he hasn't had a bath yet because they said don't give him a bath till after the test. Um because we don't want more fluids going into his ear sort of thing so um that's the first appointment at um nine o'clock and then the second appointment is at 11 o'clock hopefully the last appointment now uh, with the midwife and that's just to um check that his jaundice is gone because they can't discharge you till uh the jaundice is gone so he had a little bit left the last appointment so they booked this appointment so hopefully his jaundice will be totally gone and inshallah we can be done with these appointments and just move on to our appointments with the gp so yeah that is um what's going on today um i'm just sorting out his bag they're all ready the girls are ready downstairs shelka's just giving them breakfast i just got rayhan ready as you saw and he's downstairs now and i'm just sorting out his bag so yeah um yeah, I was looking for this. So he's going to wear a hoodie on... Uh, look at his little hoodie. <laughs> well, it needs ironing, but that's fine. It's got little ears. Okay, so I'm just packing his bag. So basically in his bag, all I've got is his hospital notes, um, his red book. His red book always stays in his changing bag, whether we've got an appointment or not no matter what um also in the change of bag is my purse with my cards and my money in it because i'm not carrying two bags so put that in there i've also got paracetamol and ibuprofen in there um i don't i'm not always going to have them in there but at the moment like just in case where if i'm like in pain or anything or random pain comes i've got these in there for me because i'm i am still recovering from a c-section so just in there just in case some nappy bags wipes nappies changing mat breastfeeding covers in there got some tissue in there and, and some antibacterial wipes to wipe the changing mat some um breast pads because my breast my boobies my milk leaks so breast pads i have one of these milks left from the milks that i got um so i just keep that in there as emergency i don't use it but it's there as emergency because it's still got the date on it and then i'm not going to take this all and then i'm going to get like two outfits out from here and put it in there just in case it gets dirty so i'll take a long sleeve vest um and a short sleeve vest so two vests one sh long sleeve one short sleeved and I'll just take two babe, uh, baby grows just to make life easier. So one baby grow, two baby grow, and that's it. Um, if I'm going out for a longer day, I'll probably put like three outfits in there. Um, 
but we're just I just put two in there for now so I'm gonna put nappy cream in there I use Walida yeah this is the one I use pseudo cream doesn't suit him so I use Walida and this is made from natural ingredients so better yeah it's for delicate skin it's made from natural ingredients so I use this I need to put some sanitary towels in there for me I'm gonna stick a muslin cloth in there there you go done just need to find his hat that's it done bag done I just need to put sanitary towels in there for me and my water bottle and I'm done okay I'm gonna rush now because I'm gonna be late so I'll speak to you lot in a bit so we're back from the um, Rehan's appointment basically you know I had an appointment at nine o'clock their hearing appointment and then I had an appointment at eleven o'clock um their eleven o'clock appointment they just saw us straight after our um the hearing appointment we don't have to go back now at 11 o'clock alhamdulillah so his hearing appointment went well his hearing's totally fine all the fluids are out of his ears now and yeah and his hearing's totally fine and then also they've now discharged us from the midwives alhamdulillah his jaundice is totally gone now he has no more jaundice left and we double checked you know he's got the the rash that on his face at the moment it's like a really spotty rash which they said is normal in newborns it should go by itself um by six weeks like it should by the time he's six weeks it should be all gone which i knew anyway because it is not it is fizza had the same like rash all over her face not rash it's like a spotty loads of spots all over her face basically and it went after like six weeks less than that actually it went so he's going through that right now but Shaka was worried yeah so what's the plan so the plan now is we're gonna go and head into town because I want to go to Poundland and also the everything's 99p shop um Primark is there as well but I can't handle Primark at the moment I haven't been Primark ages and yeah that's it that's the plan um I'm excited to go to Poundland you know oh shall I tell you something so um in the midwife appointment like he has a little bit he had a little bit of a nappy rash that so I wanted to show her the nappy rash and then show her the cream I'm using and then like ask if I should like change his cream or whatever um so anyways as I'm showing her his bottom he started weeing so he weed on me and he well he got my arms luckily he didn't get my clothes and he also weed on the midwife it was so funny and she literally jumped she went oh and jumped back and his wee was like whoosh so that was quite funny and then he also pooped a little bit but his poop was at uh, thank god it was in his explosion poo it was just a little like fart and a little bit of poo that came out kind of just stayed on his bottom but um yeah <laughs> quite funny actually anyways i'm going to go downstairs way hans downstairs sleeping so i'm going to go back downstairs and just wait on shaka really so just got home we ended up chilling at my sister-in-law's for a little while but then i got really tired so i was like shaka can you drop me home fizz is still there it is actually wanted to come home she's falling asleep oh this guy's not going to let me film one minute so he's not gonna let me you're not gonna let me do vlogging mama not let to vlog guys mama not he really likes like laying on the chest and just set him up you're not gonna let me vlog no yeah so um anyways let's see how we get on i went to the 19 everything's 99p shop so i went there first and yeah how am i gonna do this it's gonna be really hard this little man and my battery's gonna die but anyways so i picked up two boxes of cheerios um basically fizz i'll be having a cheerios for ages and it is always asking for cheerios for breakfast and i'm like we haven't had it ages and i haven't done an asda shop so i thought I was in the shop and I saw them. I was like, I might as well pick them up one pound each. And I picked up these. These just looked really interesting. So I thought, let me pick them up. 
they're oven baked bruschette chips. I don't know what that says. What does that say? Um, and they're tomato, olives, and oregano flavor, and they look delicious, honestly. Um, they just look really yummy. What are you doing, my man? Is it focusing? Yeah, don't those look really, really yummy? Um, yeah, so I can't wait to try those. It's I can't do this with you. You're moving too much right now. Usually, usually he just relaxes on my shoulder. Thank you. My battery died and then I thought I'll go and settle him and lay him down. Hopefully he will let me, well, I don't know. Hopefully he will let me vlog. Bicarbonate. Got bicarbonate of soda, the Dr. White brand. Yeah, I'm going to use this to clean the sink. Picked up these microwave and fridge one minute this vlogging life is going to be a little bit more hard now with this child but yeah anyway um yeah so then i picked up this microwave and fridge freezer wipes to clean the microwave my microwave is disgusting right now listen i don't know what shark has been doing but basically i use cover uh, like plates to cover food and stuff so it doesn't splatter everywhere and i don't think shark has been doing that and where i have been out of like clean i haven't been cleaning and like he's been taking care of everything alhamdulillah he's been neglecting my microwave so my microwave is gross right now um and now i'm slowly doing little bits around the house i'm not still not doing much but i'm doing little bits like you know tidying up little bits so i thought let me i need to tidy that microwave it stressed me out so I thought, let me just pick up these easy life, you know, and then to go with that, once it's all clean, I picked up a microwave cover. Next, I picked up some highlighters for me because um, I've got my little book where I organise my vlogs and like what I'm doing, videos that I want to do, videos that I've done, I kind of like my little YouTube book and I've wanted highlighters for them. So I can highlight certain things and easier to like you know it's just highlighters for me okay <laughs> I picked up some cotton buds these say they're for babies but I'm not going to use them on baby they're for me um Fizz's birthday is coming up so I just picked up the number six candle because she's gonna be turning six I can't believe my baby is now six so I picked up some felt tip pens for the girls because always they're always going missing they're always losing the lids they dry out i also picked up this connect for this is called quad connect but it's connect for basically i thought this would be a nice game for us to play we can play it as a family she can play it with me with her daddy um with idage maybe i don't know if idage will understand this game will be able to play it but we can all play it together so yeah picked up that i also picked up these sparklers for her there's three in a pack they're pink with like um silver and dark pink like polka dots but yeah you just basically put the lighter on this part and then it sparkles you don't know what sparklers are right and you put them on top of the cake so i picked those up for her cake and then i picked up some of these glow stars for their bedroom i picked up two so then they can stick it on their wall themselves so one fizzer can stick up by herself and one idage can stick up by themselves because i just can't deal with them fighting at the moment so they get their own ones they can stick up on their walls i just picked up some a4 paper for the girls they're constantly using up my printer paper my good quality printer paper so i thought let me just pick up some cheap a4 paper from the 99p shop so they can you know give my paper a little bit of a break so yeah picked up that and then i picked up this food strainer i don't know why i need this but i remember there was a while back where i was like i really need one of those food strainers like a small version i don't remember why i needed it but i needed it and now i don't remember why i needed it and i don't know what i'm going to use it for but i know it's going to come in handy so <laughs> i bought it so yeah it's just an eight centimeter food strain i also picked up this birthday girl badge for fizzar and then i picked up these yo he's going again 
gosh we will get to the end of this vid uh this haul before he cries again we will um and then i picked up these yo-yos for the girls so Idich has been asking for yo-yos for quite a while now and then i went into the 99p shop and i saw them and i was like oh my gosh i have to pick her up one and then obviously i have to pick up fizza as well because if Idich wants it fizza would want it as well um and if fizza wants something Idich would want it so i've always got to pick up one each for them um so poundland obviously i had to pop into poundland as well but i didn't get much from poundland just snacks i think so from poundland got some cheeto puffs cheese flavor and then i got some cheeto puffs flaming hot flavor then i picked up these um chili heat loaded fry crisps but these will be nice to have with the plain yogurt the greek yogurt that um i got the idea from dina tokyo Oh my days. So, I've got him here now with me. He just wants to be in my hands, literally my life. So anyways, as I was saying. So yeah, I've got these crisps. Basically, if you lot watch one of my videos, I said that when I was pregnant, actually. Um, she was like, ages ago I was pregnant. Yeah, so in one of Dina Tokyo's vlogs, she basically had spicy crisps that she dipped in like Greek yogurt. And when I watched her vlog, I started like craving that. And then I started eating it what during my pregnancy i would get like the thai sweet chili crisp and have that greek yogurt still like that idea still got my greek yogurts in my fridge so i thought i'll get some spicy crisps and these flaming hot cheetos would be nice to dip in the greek yogurt as well actually mm. or like crumble them up and mix them in the greek yogurt because i've got little pots of greek yogurt now oh, that would be nice mm. yeah would that be nice? Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? You get the flavour in your booby milk, yeah. Um, picked up some prawn cocktail walkers. Picked up these flaming hot walkers, again, to have with my Greek yoghurt. Picked up some cotton pads for his bottom. I was naughty and picked up some chocolate. And I deserve it, man, because this child here this little man here is not an easy man he is not easy picked up some red sparkly paint for the girls yeah, then i picked up these nail polishes so i picked up this green one i picked up this pink one so the reason i picked up these nail polishes was because yesterday morning um we had a girly morning yesterday basically Rayhan and Sharky were upstairs sleeping so i thought let me have a girly morning with my girls so we did our nails we um made cake it was really really nice we got to spend some quality time mummy and daughters and it was nice so i thought i'd pick up some more nail polishes so for more girly times with them because the nail polish their head was like the kiddie one so they peel off and then i picked up this from poundland it's got a frog on there crown this little thing and yeah and then you attach it using these parts that's it that's all i got from poundland and everything 99p shop um, I think I showed you everything. That was a mission and a half to do this haul with you lot because this little man just wants me to hold him and I was trying not to hold him and he just kept crying. But now he's in my hands. He's happy. He's falling asleep. Um, and yeah, he's fine now. Honestly, he's a little... Um, he just wants to be in mommy's arms all the time. But yeah, anyways... I did get through it, got to the end, showed you everything. Poundland halls are not going to be the same now because of him, but inshallah he will get better and more, you know, leave mum alone. Anyways, I am going to put everything away. Hope, I'm going to try and lay him down in his Moses basket, hoping he would just stay in there now and sleep. I'm hoping so, but let's see. And then, um, yeah put this stuff away we've actually got people coming over in a minute so i have to give this whole room a quick tidy because it is an absolute mess it's not too bad but yeah i need to give it a quick tidy and yeah that's it <laughs>